Hey everyone, welcome back to Pajama Crafts where I do crafts in my pajamas. Today's video is a Dollar Tree DIY collab with Fanny from Creations by Favi. I feel so bad. We were supposed to post this morning at 6 a.m. and I thought it was tomorrow. I don't know what happened. I got my days mixed up with all the craziness and Koi being home with us and trying to figure out things to do with him and I just mixed up the date so I'm just trying to get this out as soon as possible please go watch her videos she is the sweetest sweetest person I've gotten to know her a little bit over the past few weeks as we've been talking and she is really just so nice and like a really genuine person I absolutely love her DIYs she always has such amazing content so please go watch her videos and subscribe to her channel because you will not regret it you'll want to see every video she puts out from now on so make sure to go see uh, what she did for this collab too and then for this one i just was so excited if you guys haven't seen my haul from my last video i was so excited because i found a big dollar tree across town from me and i had not um, I didn't know it was there. I mean, I knew there were other Dollar Trees in my town, but I did not know how big it was. So now I'm never going back to this Dollar Tree by my house. It's really small, and I just want to go to the big one because I found so much stuff. And I have some really awesome DIYs coming your way. I think you're going to like them. But anyway, I found these round circle pieces, and I think it's in like kind of a crafting type section in the Dollar Tree. Um... But I just went ahead and I'm removing these stickers with the blow dryer. Brie was awake and now she's not afraid of it anymore. But sometimes when she's sleeping, I'll go hold them. I'll go hold whatever it is I'm trying to get the sticker off. I'll go hold it over the burner for like 30 seconds on the stove. Like don't get too close because you can burn yourself. But you can also burn yourself with the hair dryer. Mine's really hot. Anyway, um, but that works too. Like when she's napping, I do that all the time. So to start out, I'm using this Waverly chalk paint in the color Truffle. I'm going to be using this throughout the whole video. It's the only paint that I use. And I'm just taking a small brush and painting along the edges of these circles. Now you can use the front of the circles for this project. I just wasn't sure if it would show through. And so I just decided to use the back. But I think I could have used the front and then just left the back nice. But maybe I'll just paint over the back later. Now I wanted to do something kind of botanical for spring with herbs and stuff so I got this idea to use these free printables I found on Pinterest. I'll leave the link in the description and I had this paper that looks kind of old from when I used to work at Oriental Trading Company. I'll see if I can find the link but I'm sure it's easy to find at like Hobby Lobby or something. Um, but as you can see the way that the printable printed, like I was able to resize it to smaller, but I wasn't able to move it on the page because I just don't have um, any kind of software or anything to be able to do that. Zach tried to help me and he said there was not a way to do it easily on our computer. So I just decided to improvise and I'm tracing around the circles so that I can cut these out and cover the entire thing. And then I decided mm -hmm. to just rip around the edges of the herb printable instead of cutting it out I wanted it to look really old so I decided to tear around the edges and I think that looked really pretty so then I also just decided to use spray adhesive I forget that I have it a lot because I had it a long time ago before I even really got into crafting so um but I've been seeing people use it a lot lately for their paper projects instead of Mod Podge and so I decided to use that and then also to make these look older I just decided to crumple the paper so that would be really wrinkly and then I just sprayed the backs of these little herb things and to center them onto my um, circles I just poked a hole with my Cricut weeding tool I poked the hole back through where the hole originally was so that I could see where it was so I could center them easily and <laughs> that's something I do if it's paper and I covered the hole I just poke it with my Cricut tool but whatever you have should work pen anything 
And then that way I was able to center those little herbs easily. And then I'm just going back in with that same truffle paint um, in the Waverly chalk paint. And just with a very, very dry brush, I am distressing the paper. And then the really cool thing with the way I crumpled it, now when I distress over the top, really, really light, you guys. I also was kind of doing this technique where I was doing the brush more like on the side instead of actually brushing it. I like to do that a lot lately because I don't see many brush strokes when I do that. I just, you know, it just kind of does like a light, I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, I also went around the edges of where I tore the paper for the herbs and I thought that made it look really, really cool. And then, yeah, all over the paper so that those wrinkles would pick up that distressing. I think it came out really pretty. So I found this really cool basket at the new giant Dollar Tree. Well, it's not new, just new to me. <laughs> and it's gold, and I really wanted to make it look like it was old and rusty. Usually gold is not my colors, but I thought it would go really pretty with the brown paper. So I just decided to take some more of that truffle Waverly chalk paint and just dab it all over the basket to make kind of like a rusted old antique look and <laughs> it's really hard to see here because of my background um you guys know i'm a hot mess and that's probably not going to change so just know that if you're subscribing to my channel <laughs> but also i just want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed recently my my channel is like <laughs> it's growing so fast and i'm just so amazed and thankful every single day i see like huge progress on my channel and I absolutely love it and I appreciate you guys so so much thank you so much if you have shared my video or liked or commented or just watched that's really really helpful and helps my channel grow and it helps me be able to stay home with my daughter believe it or not it makes that big of a difference so you guys are making a huge huge difference in my life and I really really appreciate you once we get to 15,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing another giveaway, so that should be coming up really soon, just within the past few days, <laughs> we were like halfway there from 14,000, so I'm so excited to do that for you guys. I love to <laughs> try to give a little something back, um, since you guys really, really do so much for me, you don't even understand. <laughs> So once my basket had dried, I'm just taking some Dollar Tree twine and tying these up. I staggered them um, because they didn't fit across just in a line, but I think I like this much better anyway. I was like, babe, what do I do? And he was like, just put them at different heights. I was like, oh, <laughs> it's such a good idea. Sometimes I just don't see the, like, the obvious and I think you know I mean I could blame it on that I'm crafting at night after Brie goes to sleep a lot of the time and I'm tired already from the day but also you know he just has good ideas so if you guys did not see my community post like I was so I can't believe like how lucky I am yesterday Zach just brought in the mail and he was and I was like what's that package because I didn't know we had anything coming he said it's for you and I opened it and it was like these old um sheet music papers and I was like where did you get these like he said I I heard you say you were running out and you were gonna be sad when you ran out so I found some on eBay <laughs> oh my gosh literally you guys he is the sweetest and I'm the luckiest girl ever he is so supportive of my channel, and I never would have, I don't think I ever would have started this channel if it weren't for him being so supportive and telling me I can do it, and like, I don't know if I would have kept doing it in the beginning either. I mean, honestly, I'm having so much fun with this, but he really, really supports me, and he shows that to me every day in different ways. He got me my ring light as a gift, and my tripods, and everything when I very first started. I was stacking my phone on books like all precariously. It was hanging over the edge and I would have another book like on the back of my phone to hold it out like hanging over. <laughs> and yeah but anyway that also <laughs> goes to show you no matter where you start like you can do it. You just have to find a way. Um, 
anyway, um, I really love doing YouTube, and I'm glad that he's so supportive of my dreams and helps me achieve them. That's really lucky to find that in someone, and I really appreciate him. So this is how it turned out. I absolutely love it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. And this time you get to see Koi and Brie in the video. Yeah, You're playing catch. <laughs> She's muggy in the middle. <laughs> what are they doing? They're playing catch. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, please do not forget to go check out Fanny's video. I will have it linked in the description, so make sure to go give her some love, subscribe to her channel so you don't miss any of her new videos because they really are amazing. Subscribe to my channel for more DIYs like these, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.